What is up? Oh, it's cold. It's a little bit cold. It's getting annoying, but it's all right. Gonna sip on some pre-workout. Training back today. Excited for that. I have missed a bit of back. Very, very, very excited to get back on this bowl. One to two more weeks, then I'll be right back on that bowl. Getting them sickening pumped. Once you've finished a cut and you go into a bulk and you have an influx of calories, you get the most ridiculous pump. Something I wanna implement over the next bulking period is to do a few mini cuts over that period. So I can utilize the growth and pump factor that I get from coming off a cut. Like 100%, your gains will go up a lot from coming off a cut, I can guarantee it. So that's what I'm gonna try and implement the next bulk because it's gonna be a very long bulk. So I wanna do mini cuts instead of one big cut one big box. Gonna go train some back right now and I will catch you in the gym. I hope you got some beds around Cause you're the only refuge now For every mother, every child, every mother It's Fam, I'm feeling really like, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Getting to that point in the diet where you really start to dig, it's like that last bit of body fat takes so much to burn that your body <laughs> starts to feel it. So it's all right though, it's not too bad. Also, I lost a bit too much weight this week. That's another reason why I'm feeling a little bit low on energy and a bit lethargic, but good workout. Not the best pump, that's why I'm gonna have two little refeeds in the consecutive days. This is gonna get me a bit more muscle glycogen in my muscles and uh, get me looking a little bit fuller. So I'm gonna show you a little physique update right now. See where I'm at before I refeed. A big reason why I pose afterwards is to get used to posing because the more I pose, the better I'm going to become. In a competition, if you're going to pose or whatever, you wanna pose in the way that's gonna accentuate your physique in the best uh, shape. Really, I like to go through my routine just about after every single workout, just to kind of get a grasp of where I'm sitting, what needs work in the posing, what looks good, you know, the type, the type of movements that I do, you know, instead of just going from to, you know, I. I move, you know, I, like a dance, you know, it's kind of like that. So kind of calligraphy, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm really hungry. Gonna go get my feet on. Wow, all right, what is up? Back home, got my rice bubbles. 100 grams of rice bubbles, two scoops of protein, and a cup of almond milk. Just realized I have not tried out the blueberry cheesecake flavor on my rice bubbles. So I'm gonna give that a little try right now. Oh man. Strawberry milk, that's all, I can, that's all I can think right now. That's strawberry milk rice bubbles. So good. I'll give that nine fire emojis out of 10. So I'm really, really excited right now because in the past couple days, weather has not been great. The sun is out and that makes me so fucking happy, dude. So fucking happy, dude. Like when you don't have sun for a little while and it comes out, so good. So I'm gonna go enjoy this outside in the sun and I will catch you guys after that. All right, so I get asked a lot about what video editor I use. What do I use to edit my videos? I'm gonna spill the beans, mate. I use Windows Movie Maker. Top of the line quality product Movie Maker is. It's just, it's just fanatical, man. It's amazing, like the amount of variance you get on there. You know, you can put some sick effects on there. All right, so I'm just kidding. I actually use Adobe Premiere Pro. I used to use Sony Vegas, but now I hopped on to Premiere Pro. I find it so much better, holy guacamole. Basically, when I hopped on here, I noticed an absolute dramatic change within the quality of my videos. Unfortunately, it does cost something. This isn't like a paid advertisement or anything, but if you guys are looking for a good program to use, you could try and illegally download it. You didn't hear that from me. However, paying for the full thing, I find that you get your money back 110%. I think it's like $10 a month, $120 a year. It's like nothing, that's like 
That's less than a pair of shoes, man. So if you are looking to get better quality videos, that is a recommendation I can get, is get some good damn software. So Adobe Systems, and that's you don't only get Premiere Pro, you get After Effects, you get Photoshop, you get a ton of things with that, you get Lightroom. The only equivalent to this would be something like Final Cut Pro. I think they have the same kind of functionality. Just the overall time that it takes to edit with this, as opposed to Sony Vegas, is just the worth of money in itself. It's way more functional. The speed, it speeds up the process ridiculously. So I'm feeling really, really depleted after this week. I'm in desperate need of carbs, and that is all I'm going to be eating today is pretty much carbs. Alright, so I've got 100 grams of cooked oats here. I usually put egg whites in there, but because I am cutting down my protein to allow in for more carbs, so I don't store too much fat, I'm just gonna put some protein powder in that. And peanut butter, banana, blueberries, all that kind of jazz, a lot of carbs in this. This is about 80 grams of carbs. I still feel real depleted after that back workout, so. That's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna take you guys through my back workout. All right, let's go. First and foremost, we started off with dumbbell pullovers. I supersetted with an eagle row. So the idea of this is to get our mind in touch with the back muscles that we will be targeting. Dumbbell pullover is gonna get a big, big, big stretch within the lats. And then the eagle row is just to get us in touch with the movement of the lat. Kicked it off with that. Three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once that is done, you wanna head over to the pull down machines. Four sets of 10 reps of lat pull downs, just shoulder width, pulling with your elbows down, squeezing your back as hard as you possibly can. Once that's done, turn around and go into the behind the neck pull downs. This has been a big favorite of mine for hitting overall upper back. I feel like you bring in a lot of detail with this movement. Make sure you're focusing on letting your lats come up and then driving back and down with your elbows. Trying to squeeze the entire traps and engage the lats at the end of the movement. Three sets of those for 10 to 15 reps. Then once that's done, head it over to a T-bar row. My gym just got this new T-bar row, so I thought I'd give it a go. Kind of emulates a barbell row. Did a drop set on that. So you want to do three sets of eight, and then once you've done eight reps, drop the weight and do another eight reps. Three sets of eight reps with a drop set. Then went over to a superset, did barbell row back to back with deadlifts. So you do a barbell row, 10 reps, and once that's done, go ahead straight into a deadlift for another 10 reps. Still real, real good lat movement, which is the barbell row, which is gonna help you get in touch with the lats, and they're gonna be exhausted. When you go into the rack pull, your lats are going to take a lot of the brunt force, and they're probably gonna fail before anything else. Four sets of 10 reps each. Then I did a dumbbell run the racks. Basically, it's a triple drop set. Started off with a heavy weight, did 10 reps, then you drop it, do another 10 reps with a little bit lighter, then drop it again, do another 10 reps. You want to drop it by about five kilograms per time, which is 10 pounds. Just finished up with a bicep movement, dumbbell alternating curls, 10 reps on each arm, focusing on only moving through the elbow joint. This workout specifically is pretty based towards getting conditioned. A lot of supersets, a lot of drop sets, a lot of reps, very little rest. We're resting no more than a minute on each exercise. Getting a lot of sets in to a short amount of time, which is really gonna emphasize the definition of the muscle. That was a workout, give it a go, and we'll get back to the video. What is up? I look real lean. I'm getting that skeleton face right now. I guess over the past week, I did lose a fair amount of weight, two pounds, it's not my goal. Before I wrap the video up, I wanna go over a few things about why you may or may not be making progress. So if you are not making progress, it usually comes down to three things, time, effort, and consistency. Number one, time. Have you been doing it for enough time? If you've been doing it for a month, you can't expect to have ridiculous results. If you have been doing it for a week, you can't expect to get a year's worth of results. Only get back the amount of time you put in, really. If you go to the gym for 10 minutes, you're gonna get 10 minutes of results. You gotta go for a little bit longer, and you've got to go Consistent. That brings me to number two, consistency. There's like breakdowns of this. So if you're not training, eating, sleeping, and drinking consistently, then you can't expect to have consistent results. It's gonna be lopsided. Your, your weight's gonna fluctuate. Let's say you have 3,000 calories one day, and then the next day you have 2,000. So your body's just gonna freak out. It doesn't know what to do. Should I be building muscle or should I be burning fat? Doesn't know. It doesn't like to have to decide. Your body does not want to do both at one time. So you gotta be more accurate with your approach. You know, you gotta know why you're doing what you're doing. So number two is consistency. You got to be consistent. If you, you got to set a day. You got to set something, and you got to stick by it always. So if you're gonna go to the gym five days per week, if that's what you can commit to, then you got to go five days per week, no matter fucking what. It's just that simple. If you commit to eating five meals, this specific meal, 
every single day for fucking eight weeks. That's what you gotta commit to. It's just the thing, you gotta put it out there. This is what I'm gonna do and then go and do it. It's just that simple, you gotta understand what your plan is. Accurate plan for an accurate goal. If you have the goal, the target, boom, then you gotta have a plan. And obviously it's gonna be a bit worthy, you know? You never know how your body's gonna fluctuate, but if you don't have that plan, and you don't know how to get back onto it. Number three is effort to make effective use of your time. If you're going to the gym, you might as well work out hard. If you're gonna spend an hour there, don't spend half an hour on fucking Instagram or on Facebook or, you know, chatting up girls. Whatever the hell you're into, don't spend your time doing that. Spend your time working out. Spend your time effectively training, you know, training, pushing your body as, as hard as it possibly can. You need to increase the amount of intensity that you go out. So progressive overload, let's say you're in a, you know, you're in a muscle building phase. Let's just say you bench press 60 kilos for 10 reps. The next time you go in, do 60 kilos for 11 reps. Or do 62.5 kilos for 10 reps. You gotta progressively overload. It doesn't get easier, you just get better. That's the thing. You gotta always keep pushing the envelope. And this is why I wanna go into another video because there is a lot more to it. So number four is proper programming. You need to have a program that sets you up for progressive overload. Or if you're trying to diet, you need a program that's gonna allow you to burn calories and maintain muscle mass. And it all comes together. You put in the time in length of uh, months to years, be consistent with your program and everything that you wanna accomplish, diet, food, water, sleep, etc. for a certain number of time. Brings me back to number one, these all correlate. Then number three, you gotta fucking work hard. You can't just do these two, be consistent, drink fucking a liter of water a day and then go to the gym and not do anything. You gotta work hard, number three. Number four is proper programming, allowing you for progressive overload. So that's just that, four things, time, consistency, effort, and proper programming. That's it, that's all that equates to whether or not you are going to make progress or not. If you go into the gym, you better make the most of that. Why just go and fuck around? Go. An hour, focus, that's it, just focus. And you'll, you know, you'll reap the rewards of that. It's so much more enjoyable. With that, I'm just gonna wrap the video up here. Hope you enjoyed watching, because I enjoyed making it. I will catch you in the next one. Later. Just